This is a Dell Latitude 3520. And the problem with this is it will not run off the battery. When we plug in the AC power adapter, we can see that it fully charges the battery. But as soon as I disconnect the AC power adapter, it enters this sort of comatose state. The laptop is completely unresponsive. I've no backlight, no screen, and the power button stays on all of the time. And the only way of getting out of this and getting the laptop to boot back into Windows is to remove the back cover, disconnect the battery, and then plug it back in again. And then once again, you plug in the AC adapter, power it up to Windows, and if you disconnect that AC power adapter, the same thing happens again. So let's open it up and see if we can find out what is causing that. I've removed the motherboard from the laptop chassis and scanned it to the screen so that we can get a better look at it. Now there are essentially two modes of operation with this laptop currently. With the AC power adapter connected, the laptop boots to Windows, it charges the battery to 100%, and everything works fine. The second mode of operation is where we disconnect the AC power adapter. With the AC power adapter disconnected, we don't get any display, the laptop is unresponsive to any input from keyboard and mouse, and the power button light stays on permanently. I did a quick internet search to see if this was a known issue with this particular model of Dell laptop, and I found this thread on Reddit. So if you look at it here, I worked in a Latitude 3520, the same model. It would randomly crash and then get in this weird hung state with the power light on, but otherwise unable to do anything. No matter how long you held the power button or anything, you had to disconnect the main power battery and disconnect the BIOS battery in my case. Give it a minute or two, plug it back in, and it would boot until it would randomly crash again. So what they're saying here is make sure it's updated to the latest BIOS, and in our case, Dell came out and replaced the motherboard. We also have other people here. I've seen that with quite a few of our 3520s. So it does seem to be an issue with this particular model of laptop, not just the laptop I have in front of me. This seems like it might be a tricky fault to try and troubleshoot. So the best suggestion I had at this stage was to note down all of the voltages around the battery management IC, the battery FET, just in around the input section in general and then compare those to the voltages when the laptop actually crashes. So let's first of all take note of all of the voltages when the laptop is booted up to Windows and fully functional. So with my laptop booted to Windows and fully functional, I'm going to start taking some voltage measurements. Now this is our DC input jack right here. As you can see we have 8 pins and you will notice at the bottom here pins 6, 7 and 8 come onto a diode and then onto three pins of this MOSFET right here. So this is where our DC voltage comes in. So I introduce my multimeter in volts DC in the 20 volt range, place my black probe to ground and my red probe to pin 6. And we measure there, we find that there is 19.85 volts on the input. From our DC input jack, our voltage travels from pin 6 across this track here and down onto this MOSFET. So that MOSFET is a 30 volt P-channel MOSFET and I can mark in the pin configuration on our board. So as you can see, we have three source pins here, a gate pin to control it and then four drain pins on the other side. Now we know that we have 19.85 volts coming in here and onto the source pins of this MOSFET. So I'm going to check the gate pin of this MOSFET to see if it's switched on or off. And measuring at the gate pin of our first MOSFET, I find that there's 3.25 volts. So that should mean that our MOSFET is switched on and our 19.85 volts should be coming through from our source onto our drain pins. And at the drain pins of that MOSFET, we confirm that we do indeed have 19.85 volts. Our voltage then travels along this track here and onto these pins of a second MOSFET. Now this second MOSFET is actually the same as the first. It's a 30 volt P-channel MOSFET. So let me mark in the pins on that second MOSFET. So we have 19.85 volts coming in and onto the drain pins. This P-channel MOSFET is controlled by the gate, which controls whether the MOSFET is on or off. So let's take a measurement at the gate and see what voltage we're reading there. Measuring at the gate pin of that second MOSFET, I find 1.80 volts. So that second MOSFET should also be switched on, and we should be getting 19.85 volts on the source pins of the second MOSFET. 
and just to confirm when we measure at the source pins of the second MOSFET we measure 19.85 volts so the second MOSFET is switched on as well so where does our voltage go from there well as you can see from the second MOSFET it goes through a number of vias and off to somewhere else on the board so let's see if we can find out where it comes out now what do we usually see after our two MOSFETs on the input? Well the next component is usually a current sense resistor and I found this one right here. So I'm going to measure the voltage at it by placing my black probe to ground and my red probe to the current sense resistor and I find that it measures 19.85 volts. Just to reiterate, these measurements are being taken when the laptop is booted to Windows and fully functional. So I didn't expect to find any issue on the input section. However, we've just confirmed that all the values on the first two MOSFETs and right up to the current sense resistor all look good. After our current sense resistor, the next component that we're interested in is this IC down here, which is our battery management IC. I've marked in all of the pins for that battery management IC. So what I want to do is note down all of the voltages at the significant pins of this battery management IC while the laptop is booted to Windows and fully functional so that we can then compare those values to the values that we measure at those significant pins when the laptop is crashed and the power light is stuck on. And just in case anybody is unsure as to how I am taking those measurements I am using my multimeter once again in volts DC in a 20 volt range. I'm placing my black probe to ground and then with my red probe I am very very carefully connecting to each of the pins and taking down the voltage. But you need to be very very careful because those pins are tiny. I thought it would be easier if I drew out a partial schematic and then write in the values that I took when it was working and when it was crashed it might be easier to compare. So I'm going to show you the values now that I got when the laptop was plugged in and fully functional. So as we saw earlier in the video, with our AC adapter connected, we're getting 19.85 volts at pin 6, and that 19.85 volts is going through MOSFET 1, which is switched on, and MOSFET 2, which is also switched on, and we're measuring that 19.85 volts at the current sense resistor. And these are the values that I took at the battery management IC. First of all, pin 17 at DC in, we measured 19.45. Pin 18, VDD, I measured 5.10 volts. And pin 19, AC in, I measured 3.65 volts. If we move over you, and zoom out a little bit, you can see that our VSYS voltage was measuring 17 volts and down at our battery you can see at our battery MOSFET on the gate pin of this p-channel MOSFET we're measuring 17 volts so this is switched off and the battery itself is measuring 16.30 volts so these are the values that I measured with the AC power adapter connected what I'm going to do next is plug out the AC power adapter and see what values we're getting then. I'm particularly interested in this section here. I'm very conscious that the laptop is fully functional on the adapter but has an issue when we try and power it off the battery. So I'm very curious to see how this MOSFET reacts when we disconnect the AC power adapter. So having taken note of all of the voltages when the laptop was plugged into AC power and working fully, I disconnected the AC power adapter but when I did the laptop somehow stayed running now I sat with the owner of this laptop as he demonstrated to me a number of times disconnecting the power adapter and the laptop immediately shutting down no response from keyboard no response from mouse power light stayed on until he disconnected the battery and connected again so I don't know if the fact that I have removed the motherboard from the chassis has changed something or if the error is more random than he originally described. However, since it was now running on the battery, I decided I might as well take down the voltages as that, that might give me some tell as to what is going wrong when it eventually does crash. So here are the voltages that I took with the laptop now powered on battery alone. Now as you can see at our main current sense resistor here we are measuring zero volts but this is obviously because we have plugged out our AC power adapter now. 
On the DC in pin, which is 17, we're measuring 16.0 volts. On pin 18 VDD, we're measuring 5.10 volts. And at 19 AC in, we're measuring 0, 0.0 volts. Again, since our AC power adapter is disconnected. The more interesting section is down here at our battery MOSFET. As you can see, the gate pin of this battery MOSFET, which is controlled by pin 32 of our power management IC, has a gate signal of 8.15 volts that is switching on this MOSFET. So our voltage from our battery, which is now 16.20 volts, is coming through this MOSFET, coming through this current sensor resistor, and this is providing our VSYS voltage. So as I do for all of the issues that trouble me in life, I went back to Reddit once again. And the word that stuck in my mind when I would read this the first time was randomly crash again. So they have the same issue with their Dell Latitude 3520, but this guy is saying that it randomly crashes and making no association with the fact that the AC power adapter is in or out. Now even though the original correlation was made between unplugging the AC power adapter and the fault occurring, I did notice the same fault occurring when I physically moved the laptop on different occasions. Like for example, once I lifted up the laptop and I'd forgotten that I had unscrewed all of the screws in the battery, the battery fell forward and when I looked at the laptop screen, I could see the same fault had occurred. So I decided to try and probe around the different components on the laptop and see if I could make this issue occur myself. You can see here that the keyboard backlight is switched on. So the laptop is fully on and functional. And what I found was if I got a probe and pressed down on one of the pins of the cable that connects from the motherboard to the battery, I can get that light to switch off. So you see the light is off there? And if I flip it over, the laptop is now in the same crash state. There is no display, no response from keyboard and mouse, and the power light is constantly on. After some further probing, I looked a bit closer at the connection from the motherboard to the battery. And it seems that if there's any motion on this connection at all, like me pressing on that cable there, or maybe somebody sitting the laptop down on a table, the issue seems to recur. So this is an important customer and I want a proper solution when I give it back to them. So what I'm going to do is replace the laptop battery before giving it back to the customer. And I'm confident that that will resolve the issue. So that's my video for this week, guys. All that time wasted on trying to find a logical reason for the fault. And really, it's just a connection issue again. Please like and subscribe if you like what I do. And post in the comments down below if you have anything to add to what I've posted here.